Starting in cybersecurity is difficult. There's lots of information and it's hard to find a starting point. So in this video, we'll look at a six month roadmap that will help you lay out all the steps you need to take. Six months to learn cybersecurity means it will be quite fast paced and it requires a good time commitment. Therefore, we'll look to break it down, starting off with months one to two. The video will cover each month in more detail, but this is just a summary. So starting off with months one to two, you'll look at the foundations and then you'll move on to months three to four, where you'll start to deepen that understanding and gain more of a specific tool set in terms of technical skills. That will lead on to the final months of five to six, where you'll start to look at certifications and networking. So overall, by the end of six months, you should be ready to jump straight in to a cybersecurity job. Now, just as a heads up before we come into the video, I did come across this great step to step guide, which allows you to document your progress as you're going along. So feel free to check this out as you just simply tick off what you've done and it will give you a percentage as complete. The link will be in the description below. So months one to two. To get started on your cyber journey, it's important to understand the landscape. You'll need to examine the options and the different career routes that are accessible. This will then allow you to start to look and build a strong foundation of knowledge because a lot of people make the mistake of jumping straight into a course and hoping that they come out of experts. But if you're watching this video, then you're already making the correct first step. You'll want to then start to look at joining different cybersecurity groups on things like Reddit, LinkedIn and Discord. You'll even learn a lot just from seeing what others do in these groups. So you don't even need to actively participate. It's just more of going in there and seeing what people talk about and the types of tips that they give. For example, in my Discord, which will be linked in the description, you'll see that I'm always sending different hints and tips and we're always talking about cybersecurity. I also have different channels dedicated to things like interview tips. So it's at this point when you'll want to start setting aims about which area of cybersecurity it is that you're interested in. Do you prefer more of the hacking or are you more of a defender? That will allow you to figure out whether you want something more red team or something more blue team. Be clear with this from the start as it will really help you target the right learning material. If you need more help understanding the types of jobs in cyber, then look out for my next video where we'll go into detail on all the different professions available. Then once you've done this, you'll hopefully be getting more of an idea about the different professions and you can start to learn the fundamentals of solid computer networking. You can take loads of free classes to learn about network protocols, data flow, and how it flows through networks on websites like Cisco Networking Academy, Cybrary, and Hack the Box, all of which I will link below. But this is where you'll really need to dedicate time to learning those fundamentals, because no matter what specific area you choose, these will be required. That nicely leads us on to then months three to four. Once you've made it here, we know that you're actually serious. So this is where you'll now want to start deepening your learning. There is still lots of free courses which you can do in this section, but it's where I would highly recommend that you start looking into hands-on labs. Using tools like Hack the Box or Try Hack Me, they're really good for learning real-world cybersecurity skills, and they have labs which cover every specialty. And I believe that doing labs is the best type of active learning. It's like you're actually on the job, but someone's constantly helping and explaining it to you. You'll then want to develop a familiarity with crucial security technologies like firewalls, intrusion detection systems, virtual private networks, and secure web protocols like HTTPS. After that, start looking at common web vulnerabilities like cross-site scripting, SQL injection, and CSRF attacks. There are again, lots of free resources like the OWASP, which is the Open Web Application Security Project. They have loads of guides and tutorials, or you can even check out Portswigger's Web Security Academy to deepen that knowledge. All of that will be linked in the description. You just need to know what you're aiming to do. Finally, you'll then need to look into Python and Linux. Python is a very commonly used scripting language these days for cybersecurity and there's various free resources available to do so. Exactly the same with Linux, there's a lot out there, especially on Class Central or Hack the Box. 
That then takes us on to the final months of five to six. Hopefully by now you've gained quite an understanding of cybersecurity and in the final months, you'll want to start showcasing everything that you've learned to the potential employers. And this can really be done in many different ways. It really depends on the time that you have available and the skills that you've gained and really how much money you have to play around with. So you can do all of the things I'm about to mention or just the ones that are easiest for you. But for the best blend, I recommend doing at least two of them. So let's start off with certifications. By this point, you should hopefully be quite certain on where your interest is. So picking a certification should now be a lot easier than compared to doing it in month one. And doing a certification is a great way to show employers that you basically know your stuff. And it also allows you to bypass some of the HR filters. However, remember, it's not the only way. So if you can't get one, that's not a massive deal. And at the moment, the most beginner friendly certification is CC by ISC2, which is also free at the time of recording this video. So that would be a good one to tick off. However, there are a lot more popular and known certifications out there like Network Plus or Security Plus by CompTIA, which are very popular. So do give them all a browse. I also have them all listed out in my Get Started in Cybersecurity guide, which I will link in the description and you can browse through them all. So that covers certifications. The next thing you can do is work on practical projects and start to document them. Showcasing your projects or achievements up till this day is a really good way to show employers that you know what you're talking about. It's good to get your certifications in a portfolio where you can document them alongside your skills and the things that you've done to prove you know exactly what you're talking about. And one of the best ways to do this is by building a GitHub repo for all your projects that you've undertaken. I've created many videos in the past on free projects that you can do as a beginner. So I definitely recommend that you check them out and give them a go because they really help you showcase that you know what skills you have and you're really good at actually implementing them, not just learning them and saying that you've learned them. It's really good if you can show to the interviewers when you're in an interview that you know what you're talking about. So that's one that I would highly recommend you undertake when you're trying to get your job. It really gives you that backing and sets you apart from other people when you're applying for a job. Once you've done that, another really good way is networking. Now this point links back to months one and two where I told you to join multiple groups that were cybersecurity related. You'll now want to go back to them and start speaking to people you connected with. As you've been actively participating in these groups or whether you've just been reading them, you'll now know how they work. So it's best if you start asking people that you're six months in and you've gained all this knowledge, are there any jobs available or have you already connected with people that can help you in the industry? And a really other good way to do this is by creating a LinkedIn profile where you can connect with actual professionals in the industry and start to participate in discussions. A really good technique I have for LinkedIn is whereby you can find cybersecurity recruiters and start to connect with them. They regularly post job openings in the cyberspace and you can also directly message them to say that you're interested in a specific industry in cyber and this is the type of projects you've been doing, link them to your resume and say, let me know if there is anything that comes up because you're really interested and you've had lots of experience undertaking these specific projects and they will 100% message you or just send you a message when they have something available. So now that you've covered all the six months, what can you do and how can you try to stand out? Just imagine everybody who's applying for a job has the same certification as you and has done the same six months plan as you. Well, you need an edge. You need to have something that makes you stand out from the crowd. So by conducting hands-on labs for projects is a great way to do that. Therefore, I'd recommend doing a bit of everything that I've mentioned to see what works best for you and how you can try stand out amongst everyone. Just remember, everybody's trying to get the job that you want, but what can you do that sets you apart? And to do that, you'll need to make sure you've got the skills for the job that you're actually applying for. When you're going for interviews, you want to stay away from being generic. You want to make it look like you're there because you actually want to be there and you have the skills that they specifically are looking for. So try not to keep things too generic. Always look at the job specification and show how you stand out from everybody else 
and why they need you rather than everybody else. Hopefully that's been really useful for you and you've got more of an understanding of how to start in cybersecurity. And if you are starting out, join our Discord community where we give loads of hints and tips and we also discuss interviews. You can also use it just as a platform to ask any questions along your cybersecurity journey. If you've enjoyed the video, please do leave a like down below. It massively helps out the video and it tells me you're enjoying this type of content. Keep me updated in the comments or in my Discord how you're getting along in your journey.